Today is Vlogmas day five, sorry. My, I put sunscreen on my face, so. Look a little white. I have to fix the Christmas tree and figure out the lights. So cool. I need to do these lights. I've been doing them for a little bit, but Who am I? We gotta save the earth and do things that save money. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Do my eyebrows. Someone please save me. Maybe I'll do them tomorrow when I go to work. Cause I have a meeting from nine to 10, a blowout. I have to go look at apartments. I have to go talk to a lawyer. I have to go to work from four to nine. I get paid. Sounds like a great fucking day tomorrow. I'm so excited. Oh, look, there's a little light up. Distraction. I don't look as tired as I did yesterday. I mean, I fell asleep pretty late and then I kept waking up. But I'm actually feeling much better than I did the last few days. Anyways, I'm gonna sign off and do this plan and then I'll time lapse it to you guys. Update! Still haven't done the lights because literally going by one by one is literally a struggle. So I'm waiting for my mom to pick me up so we can go get a little circuit tester because honestly, it's just so much work to do it by one by one. I literally took it apart. And every time I try to put it back, nothing's happening with the lights. So, and my dogs are going crazy. Can you guys relax? And if you guys haven't followed them already, they are the Daily BLT because of Bailey, Lulu, and Tater Tot. I know, clever, I know. Who am I? But, keep coming, jingle on. We're gonna go to Walmart. Hold on. <coughs> Sorry, Bailey. Oh, I just hit her in the face. Probably the funniest fucking show ever. If you haven't seen it, you should probably actually see it. My eyebrows. I'm gonna get tweezers when I go to Walmart too. Yeah, but I'm gonna take you guys with me to Walmart. <laughs> oh my gosh, turn blue. No. So sorry. My little jacket. I wouldn't have to wear a fucking cap everywhere. Or I wear my sweatshirt. So sad. But I love this color. Thank you. To the person who gifted this to me, I appreciate you so much. And hopefully you watch my vlogs. If not, but eventually you'll watch it. Okay, so I'm gonna do the question and answer tonight. Um, I finished the Christmas tree. Yeah, took me like a day, but no big deal. I could not figure out the colored lights to save my fucking life. Like. No big deal. But I'm gonna make this question and answer a little bit longer just because the video vlog like wasn't long. I went to Walmart, didn't vlog because I was like on a mission. Didn't want to stay there longer than I needed to. So I didn't vlog and I was like at 1%. So I needed to get to what I gotta do and then go. Um, let's see. I think. Let's see, let's see, which one do I want to do? Okay, I'll do this one, this one's cool. 
What is your favorite physical attribute about yourself? Uh, physically, I really like my lips. That's it. I hate my eyes. So I always look so tired and like, I sleep so much. So it's just like a thing in our family. My dad has the worst eyes. Um, what is your favorite non-physical attribute about yourself? Non-physical. I hate that I procrastinate a lot of things. Or I just like don't really have, I guess, yeah, that, that'll be it. And sometimes I can be late, which is like not a good thing. Do you believe in love at first sight? I do. We don't just leave that there. Um, do you believe in soulmates? Actually, recently, I do. But I feel like you can have more than one in different areas of your life. Does that make sense? How serious do you take horoscopes? Oh my gosh. So like, what's wild about these like questionnaires is I just read the first one and I just like pick it. So like, low key, this is kind of great that th this is asking me this. I actually take horoscopes pretty seriously just because it's to the T of like who I am. As a sign, I'm the cusp, so my birthday is December 21st. I was born at 1032, so technically when I do my birth chart, it says I'm a Capricorn, but I'm technically a Sagittarius on the calendar. Have you ever been in love how many times? Oh, have I ever been in love? I think I've been in lust, not really love. Um, I don't really know if that was love. Like, I feel like I was just such a child that I thought that was love, but let's get real. And I love, I'm like, not in love, but I have love for people. How many times? Say zero. What does vulnerability mean to you? What has the ability to make, what has the ability to make you vulnerable? Okay, so for me, like recently, that's been challenged. Um, vulnerability is like, letting someone in and just like letting them, you know, learn everything about you. But I think what also is like super vulnerable about that situation is like, if it doesn't work or, you know, you give all this to this person who I feel like could do wrong or right with that stuff. And I think that could make it a very vulnerable situation if you don't know what people's, um, motives are and I say that in like the most positive way because I know that for me I'm I could be very vulnerable depending on the situation or gullible I want to believe people but I've learned that I have to have some common sense yeah so and then it says what has the ability to make you vulnerable I feel like when I get close to someone I tend to like let my guard down Maybe not too much, but I feel like I let them in enough and around my family and like that just makes it a very vulnerable situation. Um, what's one thing you're scared to ask a man but really want to? <laughs> Damn, these questionnaires, like I just picked one so I'm fucking weak, like this is just perfect. I fucking can't stand my life sometimes. Um, I feel like asking a man to be honest in like the sense of do you see me as someone you could be with or if you're in love with them or if they're in love with you or just things like that. I feel like I get scared to, or I don't know, I just get... I haven't really been in a serious relationship in a while, so for me it's like I get scared of doing a lot of things. Like I feel like that's been tested so much lately and I've learned a lot about myself and it's wild because like I didn't even think that was like possible to be like so open and so honest and have someone actually like appreciate who you are. So yeah. If you were a man for a day, what would be the first thing you would do? I'd piss my name on the wall. Like, hella big. 
and I would buy a girl flowers. <laughs> Cause I feel like that would be kind of cool just to do. Like just to see someone smile. What do you find most attractive about each sex? Women, I feel like I find most attractive is just like how we're all so different but also beautiful in our own way and how we kind of all lift each other up sometimes and then men oh my god guys with beards like kill me please like that's everything with like man buns and nice hands like I can't do a guy with ugly hands like if it's not clean if it's not like can't do it cannot what do you find most of, or what's one thing you'd love to learn more about? Actually, I really want to learn more about the woofing, which is the organic farms. And I recently said I was going to do that, but I feel like it's going to be in my future. I just know right now I have to really buckle down and prioritize like building myself as a salon stylist and working my way that way because I'm like behind in a sense and then I can travel. But it's all about me, 2019. That's like my slogan. <laughs> Last year was power moves. This one's all about me, 2019. Lit. Everyone give that shit a thumbs up if you're down for that. Um, if you guys totally watched my video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't been subscribed, subscribe now. Thank you for watching my Vlogmas Day 5. See you tomorrow. Bye.